We're here to talk about coolers. And we've had ours, Julie, for oh. two decades, more? What do you more. think? Yeah, more. Yeah, a long time. Yeah, at least three decades, I think. Yeah, and I think the last time we used it, when we went out, you had identified some issues with it, and you said, hey, maybe it's time to get a new cooler. So do you remember yeah. what well, so Well, I mean, first of out? all, the ice would melt pretty fast, so it didn't seem like it had really great insulation at all. And the um, size of it seemed to, to be okay, <laughs> I mean, as far as the external size of it. So I didn't want anything much bigger. So there's a way you can drain the water out, and it's just a plug type of thing. And the plug, I think, is loose or something, so it was getting a little bit of leakage coming out of it. Yeah, after 20 some odd years, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, the things I've liked about this, and this is a Rubbermaid cooler, um, it does have a, a handle and it's on wheels, so being able to move it around, especially once it's loaded, um, was fairly easy. The plug on the bottom before that started to become compromised, it just kind of made it easy at the campsite just to put this up on some rocks, open up the plug and just let the thing drain. Um, so the, those were the good, th and the, the other good thing I think about it is just the fact that it lasted so long. Yeah, so, amazing. It's, it's, it's really, really well uh, yeah. made, well, good quality for its time. Yeah. But so I think we needed to upgrade. Yeah, so given that, we, I mean, this has been on dozens of trips with us. It's been to national parks. It's been to the beach. It's been all over the place. It's held up well, but it's been time for a new cooler. Mm -hmm. The other thing I think that you had noticed on this is the way that this closes. Um, there's nothing that secures this lid. So once it gets really packed, um, it's kind of easy for the top to kind of get pushed up a bit. Which then the ice melts yeah. even faster. Yeah. Because you have, you've just lost all that insulation. Yeah. We were looking for something new. And when we were looking, I remember I, I did look at updated coolers like this as one option. Mm -hmm. uh, we hear so much about the Yeti products. Yeah. We looked at those. Mm -hmm. And then we found some other makers, including a company called Blue. Let me go grab the cooler that we did buy and we'll tell you about it. We selected the blue 60 quart cooler. Yeah, still in the box. Yeah. So part of this video is going to have us doing the unboxing so you can see what you get when you get the cooler. So let's talk about some of the reasons that we went with the blue cooler. Well, one of the reasons we did because it's well insulated, it has two inches of insulation, and it can keep ice frozen for up to 10 days. Mm -hmm. Long time. Disclaimer. That's if you are keeping it away from sun and you're not opening it up all the time. Yeah, so under right conditions, and I've heard people say that under good conditions, ice will still be frozen and stays well after a number of days. A few other things about the blue cooler and its features, it has non-skid feet, it has a lockable lid, which is something that we didn't have on the Rubbermaid, so that's going to be nice and make sure that the, um, the top stays down even when the cooler is full. It has sure grip handles and a drainage system, and we'll show you about how that is uh, put together on the cooler in just a minute. It also has a roto-molded design, and this allows the cooler to be just durable and to uh, roll around in very rugged type conditions. Yeah. This cooler does weigh 28 pounds, which is more than our Rubbermaid did weigh. So with ice and other items in it, it will get heavier. At 28 pounds, I can lift it pretty easy. Um, so just be aware of the weight. Some people on Amazon have asked if dry ice can be used in this cooler and the response from Blue Coolers is it, it is dry ice compatible. So if you're interested in that, uh, you'll be able to use that with this cooler as well. And then we mentioned that we kind of came down to the Blue Cooler versus the Yeti Cooler. And while the Yeti name is very attractive, has a great reputation, it also comes- And a very good cooler. Yeah, great, yeah. great products yeah. we hear. It also comes at a, at a price right. that you pay for. So 
the equivalent of the cooler that we got if we were to get the Yeti model would be running $400. The blue cooler isn't cheap, but it's less expensive than the Yeti, and we will have a link for it at the bottom of the video. And the other thing is when your cooler is at the campground, I think, you know, if people aren't seeing the Yeti name on it, maybe it's just a little less enticing for somebody to come and go for it. Because those things happen at the campground. Yes. Yeah. So, so the blue cooler is the one that we went with. Let's go show you a little bit about what it looks like. Kind of basic cooler. The things that are different about this than the one that we had, there's these, these locking handles on here. So these will come down like this to lock. They open up easily. And inside, we have just about the same amount of space as we had with the Rubbermaid, but what is noticeably different is the thickness of the walls is much more so than was the case on our Rubbermaid cooler. Inside, you do have one thing, which I'll open up right here, and this will be the plug for the drain. And then the drain is on the side bottom of the cooler, so we'll show you where that is, right here. And then this will just screw right into that. So you'll, you'll have that there, and then when you're ready to drain it, you'll just take that out it's a uh, pretty sturdy plastic and that should hold up well and then for transport i think what i'm going to like about the blue cooler more so than the rubbermaid we take a look at the rubbermaid over here while this one while this one had a handle it was over here so you'd have to wheel it this way which sometimes was a little bit awkward depending on where we were tra trying to navigate from, it was great, it had a handle. All right, on the blue cooler, the handle's on the side, so you don't have to have as, as wide of a path to move your cooler around. So I, I think I'm gonna like that better. The handle is not as long from an extension as it was on the Rubbermaid, um, so it's a little bit less, but being on the side, I think, is a better design. So, happy that we've upgraded yes. the cooler. Absolutely. Because we have lots of plans for this thing to get lots of use. In a few days. Yeah. It's going to be used. Starting tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. So we're taking our blue cooler out for its first use on a camping trip and what we usually do is even if we're camping at a place with full hookups, we'll bring a cooler with us because we typically as a rule do not travel with the propane on to cool the refrigerator in transit. It's a safety thing so we will pack the cooler with ice with our initial amount of food once the refrigerator gets cool in about 12 hours or so, we'll transfer what's in here into the fridge, but first evening or so, we're working out of the cooler. So that's um, first how we roll. A um, Couple of other things, I did notice um, an extra benefit of this cooler that we didn't hit in our features earlier. And that's in addition to being a cooler, when you have it like we do inside the trailer, it makes for a nice ottoman, so if you want to stretch out, it's an extra bonus, which the Blue Cooler Company does not list as a product feature. They missed that one, so I'm letting you know um, you get a little more for your money. And then the last thing that I noticed was that even though the cooler says it's blue, ours is gray. Julie mentioned that apparently these come in different colors, so I suspect maybe there is one that comes in blue. We tend to go with things in a gray or silver color when they're connected to our Airstream. Uh, so maybe subliminally, that's why this color was chosen. But anyways, so far so good. And we'll be diving in here for our first night's food in just a little bit. Oh, I took off the uh, sticker for our blue co cooler and we had said that the weight was about 28 pounds, I believe. But the empty weight is actually 36 and a half pounds. There is also a built-in bottle opener. Did you know that? 
I did not know that. Yes. So we have some fun little things on this. All right, we just discovered the bottle opener. So you have it's on the inside. You have to open it up, and right here, where they have this on there, you can see a bottle. Voila! Voila! There it is. It's on the outside. See right here? Yep. My finger's going up that way. I wondered what that was. It's a cooler, an ottoman, and a bottle opener. Three things in one, yeah? Yes. Not sure what that is. Well, that's all for locking it. Okay. You want to lock it. So there's a place here if you want to put a lock on it. Keep it, keep it from being tampered with. Yeah. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, we'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. We'll be bringing you more places where we go on our places where we go YouTube channel <laughs> as well as products that we use at the places where we go for now thanks for joining us and we hope to see you soon happy camping and if you like this video please help us and subscribe to our channel at the places where you go dot com on YouTube no. or places where we go the places where you go. I did not. Yes, you did. I it. did not say that. Okay, I'm going to play this back for Julie <laughs> later where she can hear that she said the places where you go. I did not. Okay. And if you like this YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and like it so we can uh, show you future episodes uh, in the future. <laughs> you do. I'll do it. <laughs>